It's a curious thing. If the Seder night is a telling of a story, a story which is the very moment in which our identity was formed, a story that is so important in Jewish identity and Jewish memory that we tell that story year after year. We tell the story every time we say the Shema. We tell that story every time we make a Kiddush on a Friday night. If the Seder night is all about this critical story to our identity, then why is it that we spend the entire night retelling the facts? We tell what happened, how it happened, we count exactly how many plagues there were, and then we go on various tangents telling the story of other people who told the story. Why is it that we don't seem to spend any time in the actual Haggadah text talking about why? Why is Jewish identity so important? Why is it meaningful to live the life of a Jew? What's happening here? Why is the story so important? Why is the fact that we're here sitting to tell the story so critical to, what, to the world and to what it means to be a Jew? And I think the message is like this. You see, the Seder night, the parents are the teachers. There is no rabbi, there is no pulpit. There is no whiteboard or Zoom classroom and there is no teacher standing and directing. There is no script and there is no curriculum. The Seder night is a tremendous opportunity for each parent to look inward and ask themselves that critical question. Why is it important to live the life of a Jew? What is so special and so unique about being a Jew? And how can I impart that to my child and help them to understand why it is so precious and so tremendously unique that they are Jews and have the opportunity to live as Jews and continue the next generation of the Jewish world. Tonight is a chance for every single parent to come up with their own story, their own curriculum, their own educational message. And the Haggadah is merely a launching pad. It's the beginning of a discussion. But that is just the book that we use. The most critical part of the Seder night is the conversation that's going to take place beyond the scope of that text, from one heart to another, from one generation to another. Have a wonderful Pesach.